Hello, Jess Too Good here, and it might surprise you to hear that illegal LEGO sets exist. Not regional exclusives, but LEGO products which cannot physically be sold in a particular country due to the country's law. And I'm not talking about LEGO sets which were supposed to be released and cancelled, as those aren't legally prohibited from sale. However, our first entry is a cancelled set, which is the original Beijing postcard set. This is a set which was planned to release for a January 2022 drop at LEGO stores, along with the New York postcard set. Both sets oddly did not go on sale January 1st, 2022, despite being listed as coming soon previously, and instead were removed from the site. However, in July 2022, LEGO released the New York postcard in a different Beijing postcard. While the original set for the January 1st release that never happened was set number 40520, this new version was set number 40654. The new version no longer has the national flag of the People's Republic of China because as Brickset pointed out, the inclusion of the flag violates a flag law of the People's Republic of China, where their flag cannot be used as trademarks, on patented designs, or in commercial advertisements. Like imagine if that law existed with American flags. I feel American flag products are an industry in itself and many countries have also had their flags represented in LEGO sets as well. So yes, you could get your hands on 40654, but 40520 is illegal. The next two entries are two LEGO sets covering aspects of the queer community released in 2021. The rainbow flag has become a symbol of gay pride celebrating the existence and freedom of expression for gay, lesbian, transgender, bisexual, and many more queer people and relationships worldwide. The Everyone is Awesome set more specifically captures the Pride Progress flag, which has the white, pink, light blue, brown, and black stripes, which represent the marginalized people of color, trans people, and those living with HIV and AIDS and those who have been lost to it. In Russia, a vague law was passed in 2013 to prohibit the sale or distribution of any material referencing gay relationships or even material discussing the concept of being gay which means something like the Everyone is Awesome set from 2021 cannot be sold there, as displaying the pride flag can get you arrested there. Additionally, the Queer Eye LEGO set is nowhere to be found on Russia's shop at home. If you don't know what Queer Eye is, it was an old show that was rebooted for Netflix, which is what the LEGO set is based off of. And basically, it's a team of people in the queer community who just give lifestyle tips, whether it be fashion, interior design, or other ways to improve your life. The LEGO set was first introduced in October 2021 and was retired at the end of 2022. That's not to say a set like the Doctor Strange $30 Garganto Showdown, which contains a one by one tile of the Pride flag as a reference to America Chavez being a lesbian in the comics, or in her MCU role so far, a reference to her parents being lesbians, is banned there. The inclusion of this piece originally from LEGO Dots was slyly included and not promoted on the box art, thus it doesn't have any ban from as far as I could tell. At the very least, unlike the other sets celebrating queer pride, this set is on Russia's Shop at Home site, which doesn't exactly work like our Shop at Home, but acts more as a catalog. Anyways, the last two entries are two sets with a similar fate. First is the Brickbuster Super Truck, a 2002 LEGO Explorer set. Explore was essentially LEGO aimed at babies exclusive to the United States. How could such an innocent toy be illegal? While well, the set's 358,000 units were recalled by the United States Consumer Product Safety Commission nationwide, as the wheels had a potential to separate from the truck axles, which could be dangerous to toddlers. There were 10 incidents reported of this injuring kids, with two reports of kids receiving serious puncture wounds. Like, dang, I can't believe this baby toy injured children. That's quite sad. And for people wondering, yes, it's against the law in the United States to sell a recalled product. This is why the super truck set cannot be listed for sale on Bricklink. And the final set on the list is the Lego Primo Ladybird Rattle from 1997. Lego Primo is also another theme for babies. And back in 1998, they received three reports from parents that the rattle had formed a vacuum and became stuck in their child's mouth. Thankfully, all the parents were able to remove the rattle from the mouth before the children got harmed. This is all info from the LEGO recall site, and LEGO decided to recall all units of this product. 
This situation also made them improve their safety standards for size restrictions. But it's interesting because the product actually reached international safety standards outside of the company. Still, it caused a lot of change just in case a situation like this would ever happen again. Again, just like the last set, this is unable to be sold on Bricklink. Keep in mind there was a third LEGO recall, which was the latest recall back in 2009, this time involving the LEGO Power Functions IR Speed Remote Control, which was something where the batteries would cause the unit to overheat, which is just unsafe. And the situation on why this one isn't exactly illegal is because they improved it after a couple months of its release and sold the same product until about the year 2020. So I can't really say that one is a straight up illegal product. Anyways, seems like LEGO did a pretty good job and there aren't too many LEGO sets which have had run-ins with the law, but to me it's surprising to discover any. Heck, on Eurobricks I heard rumors that the Crystal Skull sets from 2008 were illegal to sell in Russia due to its portrayal of Russian soldiers, but I have no further confirmation of this happening. Let me know in the comments if you know the truth there or of any more e-Lego sets. See what I did there? Help support the channel by clicking the subscribe button, thumbsing up the video, and click the notification bell to keep up with the strange Lego list, hot off the press Lego news, and more fun Lego videos. Thanks to Pirish with the help for this list, and I'll see you later. Peace out. Bye.